So we start with uh, uh, oscillators quickly today. Uh, last time I was talking of an oscillations and I gave an criteria which is called Barkhausen criteria which says the uh, loop gain should have a value equal to 1 either it should have a uh, magnitude equal to 1 and phase accordingly or phase imaginary quantity may be 0 and only real Tj omega may be only real values okay. If that occurs we say that oscillations will start or sustained. The first of that version I said that you have a phase shift oscillator basically we want 180 degree phase shift from the network feedback network and we need 180 will come from the transistor. So this is the first of the series of oscillators which we use this is for discrete transistor. This RSCS is of course a bias network so just forget about it this is the load and I have 3 RC uh, ladder network kept here and the output of the final R CR is fed back to the gate of the transistor. So obviously uh, you can see the voltage drop across this R which is nothing but this is remember this is my V0 okay, and this is my VF. The so whatever is voltage here is returned to this. Now the criteria for oscillation should be that this RC, uh, CR, CR, CR should each should give you 60 degree phase shift is that correct. So 3 of them will give how much 180 degree phase shift 180 will come from transistor so total feedback will be 360 degree in phase is that correct in phase. So if I want if the return is in phase oscillation builds and that is what the circuit is about. Uh, please remember drop across this R is VF. So this is the equivalent circuit GM VGS. VGS is the gate and I, right now I assume which is very fair in case of MOSFET that the input impedance of MOSFET is infinite okay? though it is not really infinite but it is good enough for infinite. R0 is the output resistance, Rd is the load which I kept. And I call it R, this is given as Hedra Smith, so nothing great about R0 parallel RD is I, I call RD dash, and then this is a phase shift network. How do I adjust 60 degree for any CR network? The impedance of a CR is how much? 1 upon CS plus R, the tan inverse imaginary by real value is the phase. So adjust your RC value such that it gives you a phase of. 60 degree is that okay the point just simple RC and you find that it will give you a phase of imaginary tan inverse or imaginary by real and if I put RC correctly I can get at a frequency of oscillation this value should be equal to 60 degree and if that 60 60 60 is attained 180 will be the this. So I put an equivalent circuit of this which is very simple nothing great we have done n times. So you do not need me to say how it is done and I solve this without I will not show you all of it. I use Kirchhoff law I1 current in this loop, I2 in this, I3 in this wrote 3 equations for 3 loops okay. For this I1 times Rd dash plus 1 upon Cs minus I2R is Gm Rd dash Vgs with a minus sign this is first for this loop then for the second loop this equation then for the third loop this equation is that okay simple Kirchhoff law nothing very serious this is a KVL going to be done uh, at every loop currents are assumed we write three equations please remember I1 flows in this but I2 flows in this opposite direction that is why the signs okay this you are done in your basic circuit courses so there is nothing great about it. As I say there is no R, there is no source resistance there, is that okay? So if I write these 3 equations and uh, you need not because this is given in Cedar Smith you can always and this is a trivial network at the end of the course if you cannot solve this network we will have a problem of the course itself okay. Then the feedback voltage as I already said the drop across the final R you can see from this circuit sorry. The current in this I3R is essentially the feedback 
I3R essentially is the feedback voltage. So it is I3R is Vf. We also know the loop gain. This is a feedback circuit. So loop gain is Ol times beta which can be written as V0 by Vgs into Vf by V0 or essentially it is Vf by Vgs. I substituted all that equations, 3, 4 equations which I used, 4, four equations I gave you. Find values corresponding to all this and you get this which we can write now. The loop gain Ts, loop gain is also called return ratio, okay, some books. So it is Vf by Vgs which is minus gmrd dash upon phi 1 minus something something plus j time 1 upon omega rc cube minus 6 times 1 upon omega rc and I substitute r is s is equal to j omega, okay. I have substituted s is equal to j omega. Now what is the Barkhausen criteria we said? that the real value being 1, it satisfy all of it, okay. So what does mean if the real value has to be 1, the imaginary quantity must be 0, is that correct? The real part is magnitude wise 1, so the other part must be 0 and if that occurs, the condition of under that condition to oscillate 1 upon this term should be 0, which gives me a value of omega 0 as 1 upon root 6 rc. So can I now fix my uh, frequency by proper choice of rc, I have my oscillating frequency which is 1 upon root 6 1 into rc. Now if I take the magnitude which has to be how much? 1, so I use the magnitude part gm upon rd dash and substitute this omega 0 back in this, I get a term gm rd dash upon 29. Substitute omega 0 here and get transfer function value at omega 0 magnitude is gm rd dash by minus 29, substitute here omega 0, actually omega 0 by rc 6 will come from here, so you will get 29. Now this so what is the condition of oscillations to start? That gain should be larger than GMRD dash is actually a physical gain of an amplifier. Okay. So that should be larger than 29 or equal to 29, slightly above 29. So oscillation can start and be sustained. Is that okay? So how do I adjust my GM? By choice of bias current. Okay, the DC or I can also if I am on integrate circuit, I can also choose W by else, I can choose the size of the transistors. In this specific case, we say only bias current can, so adjust your DC network to get whatever GM you want. Loads also you can adjust because you know RD dash will decide the gain, okay, so you can adjust that value. As long as this value meets 29, choice of uh, current. What do you do? You may be given RD dash for example, from there you will calculate GM and for that GM find what is the bias current and go back and bias it properly. Is that okay? The method of design opposite, given it has to oscillate, this must meet this, go back and find GM and therefore I. That and then given that RC you choose, this will be your oscillating frequency. Is that okay? So this is the basic phase shift oscillator which is normally only used in discretes. Why did I say not used so much in the uh, integrated circuits? Because I once said realizing a R on a silicon is large area problem, okay. So no one wants to use RC networks as far as possible, okay. I do not say never use it as far as possible. So these are the issues which you all should know what we are talking about. There are other oscillators of interest, we will quickly go through some of them. A very famous oscillator credited to Mr. Wynn, which is a Wynn bridge oscillator. Uh, it consists of an op amp and uh, what is this part is called R1, R2 part, which feedback is this? Negative feedback. So please remember one important factor which I have not stated very obviously to you. There are bo both possible feedbacks are available, negative as well as positive. 
and the balance of the two will decide whether it will grow or it will damp. If it is stronger negative feedback, what will happen? It will damp out or fix a value. Okay. If it is otherwise, it may grow. And if you have both of them together, we may adjust when to oscillate. Okay. That is exactly what is being tried here. Okay. I have a R1, R2 as the open loop gain is 1 upon since it is a non inverting amplifier kinds. So, AOL is 1 upon R2 by R1 and the return voltage is something here, okay, which is returned to V plus. So, how is that? How do you calculate? Let us say there is two impedances shown here. One is called series resistance, uh, series impedance R and C in series. The other is parallel impedance, which is R parallel C. Okay, straightforward. This is in series. This is in parallel. So ZP upon ZP plus ZS is essentially VP by V0, which is your feedback factor. Is that okay? This voltage by this voltage is essentially the ratio of this upon this plus this. So how much is ZP? Parallel combination of the R and C. So R upon one plus RCS. This is series, so ZS is 1 plus RCS by S. Is that okay? I can substitute this in the beta factor. Is that okay? What I am going to do? What is the condition I am looking for? That the imaginary value be 0 and the real value be 1 to get a Barkhausen criteria satisfied. So I now substitute this here, get AO beta. What is AO beta? The loop gain. And in the loop gain, I will find real, real value. A magnitude be real 1 at that frequency and phase imaginary quantity be 0. Same procedure is always followed. So, I substituted this Zp upon Zp plus Zs into 1 plus R2 by R1. Ye mein, kyunki mein kahin se lik, dek ke likta nahi hon, isle mein, I write so many steps. You can write final step. Please remember, I write because I actually keep solving on the paper. I, I do not actually copy them anywhere. So, I, I just have to do steps, rather I cannot get this expression. Okay. So, when I substituted all of this correctly RCS to RCS, I get a term uh, and if I divide by RCS, I get, of course, sorry, that function will 1 upon 3 RCS plus 1 upon RCS, very straightforward function is obtained. Then what do I do? Calculate Tj omega and then make imaginary quantity 0 and the magnitude at that frequency where this is 0, I get the Tj omega 0 is unity and fall for both of them. That is what I did. Okay. Do not fall, I mean there is nothing really great I did, all that I substituted and got the value. For Barkhausen criteria, 3j omega should be 1 and hence real and the imagine be 0. So, j omega 0 rc upon plus 1 upon j omega 0 rc is equal to 0 or omega 0 square r, r square c square is equal to 1. So, omega 0 is 1 upon rc or the frequency of oscillation is 1 upon 2 pi rc. Is that okay? So, adjusting R and C, I can adjust the frequency. Is that okay? In integrated circuit, how could I have realized G uh, R by what method? I just did last time. There is a filter I created using any time I want a pole is 1 upon R C. But in op-amps, how do I get that? By getting G M. 1 upon R is G M. And G M can be attained by what way? Operational transconductance amplifier OTAs. OTAs give you constant GM for a proportion to currents. Okay. So, use this is again same GM upon C. So, it is like same thing which we did. If I am realizing on a chip, I will prefer, prefer to use a OTA there to create GM values. Okay. okay. So, if I substitute this uh, omega 0 is RC in this function. I get 1 plus R2 by R1, 1 upon 3 is equal to 1, which gives me a condition that R2 by R1 should be equal to 1. To start, it should be slightly more than 1 because initially noise or some extra value has to be provided. 
So, choose value of R2 by R1 that is what is the gain I am talking 3 that is the non inverting gain is AOL is 3. If I adjust that I will get oscillations at what frequency 1 upon 2 pi RC. So, it is a procedure is identical look for circuit find its Tj omega by AOL and beta that is why we did enough work on feedbacks why I spent so much time because that is the way all circuits can be easily implemented. I also yes phase is 180 degree see what I say at what is Barkhausen's two criteria that I showed one is it should be minus 1 as a value which means magnitude 1 and phase 180. Is that clear to you? If you look at back your initial Barkhausen criteria, we said the magnitude be 1 and phase be 180 because Tj omega minus 1 we wanted. But I alternatively I suggest if the real value exists at that frequency, the imaginary should be 0. That will give the same value. So, at that frequency, yes the uh, impedance is real value. That is exactly oscillations, oscillations are all uh, imaginary quantities do not lead, relate to any oscillations. This is the only procedure I showed you either this or that Barkhausen criteria okay, it satisfies. I am using the second criteria most of the time. Okay. So, I have this expression is J omega likho phir aapko wo jo mene expression nikala wo sahi Okay, so we have now bean bridge oscillator, we have then phase shift oscillators, uh, another oscillator, yes. Yeah, this is all sinusoidal oscillators. Yeah, but just think of it, uh, the oscillators which we are right now talking are all sinusoidal oscillators, okay. Yeah, yeah that is you are perfect, you are actually employ this circuit and give a small noise signal of any frequency okay and then you verify that fundamental frequency will come as 1 upon rc is that correct what i have said so it's not that i am talking because i wish to talk these are sinusoidal oscillators and they will give me sinusoids okay any noise which is random which may have one fundamental out of that it will actually lead to that value okay is that point clear you want to see non sinusoidal yes they will be coming soon you are interested in those yes we will be interested in where do we interest we are get interest in because on digital hardware I am looking for square waves okay. So, yes I will like to see what is the sinusoidal to non sinusoidal conversions okay very good. Another factor which is of interest other than the RC oscillator what is the problem with RC oscillator I say if I want to increase very high frequencies what should be uh, con constraint on R and C they should be very small higher the frequency uh, if you are used in your discrete uh, lab, uh, discrete oscillator or discrete functions in the lab to get a very low value of r have you any time see tolerance you see go and look for say less than a ohm resistor probably our lab does not have metal film resistor which are typically than a ohms now these tolerances are not less than 10 okay so, get a smaller value of R with a reasonable value of tolerance less than 1 percent is very, very difficult, very, very difficult. And therefore, one will not like to use normal RC oscillators for higher frequencies. Is that clear to you? It is not that I cannot, I can certainly reduce R and get higher frequencies. But one of the biggest thing what RC oscillators were giving me, I have a range of R and C products. Okay, and I can have number of frequency range I can attain. For example, just to give in that idea, C can be a variable. How can I make C variables? Variable capacitor. How do I get it? Kya hota hai? Ek, ek aisa C versus V nikala. Ek kiska characteristics hai? Ya iska equivalent hum nikalte hain. 1 upon c square v diode. Okay. So, a diode ko reverse bias kia, so it acts like a variable capacitor. 
So, if I have a r and variable capacitor there, only guarantee you must say that at least you should have small capacitance already existing and add to this variable capacitor. Iska thoda sa socho mein kya bola? No explanation given to you. At no time circuit or same way r should have always be broken into two parts. Okay, let's say it doesn't short any time any circuit. Okay, so हमेशा जब circuit बनाते हैं protection क्या है दो parts में रखते हैं एक तो भी चालू रहे यानी zero नहीं कहीं पर infinite current नहीं होना चाहिए is that clear to you? So there are catches in labs which probably you don't use because you realize that गया तो किसी और का जा रहा है घर पे use करेंगे और ये और गया क्या? So that's the way life is but anyway so I can use varieties of characters and can get a range of RCs. What will be these oscillators called if I have C variable with voltage and frequency will be decided by one upon RC, C variable V. Kya oscillators ka naam hoga iska? Kisse control ho raha hai? Voltage. These are called voltage controlled oscillators, VCOs. Okay. So these are essentially, we will come back to VCO better. That's what I am trying to say. So we went, we are always thinking R and R and R. So why not look for else? Okay. So we say we can use inductor capacitor combination to realize an oscillator and these are called LC oscillator. There are few things which are relevant to them. Uh, compared to RC oscillators, LC oscillators are higher Q. Kya meaning a higher Q ka matlab? Q kya hota hai? Quality factor. In terms of maths, kya hoga? Omega L by R. R is the series resistance of inductor. Is that correct? This is something we are saying. Okay, before we go ahead, let me show you what I am really talking about. This is essentially called a tank circuit or a resonant circuit. Inductance parallel to a capacitor acts like a resonator or tank circuit. How does it work? If inductance is ideal and capacitor is ideal, initially let us say it has some noise or something picks up something charge on this. That half cv square sorry half cv square will be the energy stored if i apply some voltage across this half cv square energy will be stored on the capacitor remove the voltage then it will discharge it through inductor and it will receive half li square energy here and since it is no dissipation going on this energy will be dissipated back into capacitor and keep doing this infinite times okay this is therefore called resonator, okay, resonance at and the frequency if I equate impedance for this then I will get 1 upon LC root LC is the frequency at which this will resonate. Now in real life there is nothing called ideal inductance. So if there is a small r situated in series to an inductor then I R will be able to some drop potential drop across which means there will be loss of energy dissipated in the resistor. So what will happen every time you charge it back some energy will be lost so as if oscillation will start damping down okay. So our I this is essentially we say energy dissipation factor is called the quality factor. And therefore, if R is 0, which is ideal, how much is the Q for this? Infinite. So, larger the Q, better is the tank circuit. That means the frequency response will be something like this sharper response at a given frequency. Is that correct? Ideally, where it should be? Go to infinite. Okay, at that frequency only it should have value, other places no value. But that may not occur in real life, it may have some narrow band in which it will rise and fall okay. and the maximum will occur at resonating frequency. So is that point clear to you? So if LC tank circuit or LC resonator circuit is the best way to create oscillations. The only problem as I said that since it is going to lose some energy, it must be replenished.
all that we are saying is replenish replenishment of lost energy and if that happens oscillation will be sustained is that clear oscillation will be sustained jitna energy utna do na to permanently lc per oscillate karta is that clear to you this is the trick which we follow in all lc oscillators so that is what i was saying to you it has a very high q 1 upon omega r se omega l by r and therefore since inductance well vary from very small to very high inductance can be as low as uh, femto henrys or at least nano henrys or below pico henrys acha is the resistance kam karna hai to inductance ka kya karne se resistance kam ho jayega what should be the type of inductance i should be type means inductance is generally wire bound okay so wire ka kya property hai jo resistance kam karega thicker wire is that correct so if you are using a thicker wire area is higher obviously its resistance is lower okay so if you are seen a transformer you see how the wires they actually wound okay because of very low inductances they wound there okay okay so because inductance values can be minimized and capacitance for a diode or any other can be reduced at least go to femtofarad we have seen in mos transistors how much capacitance i could go down up to femtofarads so i have very large frequency operation possible with lc oscillators so is that clear why not rc people always ask this question that when rc was doing so great a job so simple a job why are we looking for an lc network at all reason is obviously at much higher frequency operation the problem is low dissipations and very high frequency operation the only difficulty it will give is at one frequency it will operate thank circuit which what it means is bandwidth relatively where up to which it can give frequency will be limited in rc you have wide range of frequencies attainable is that clear that is the advantage which rcs provide over lcs therefore we say tunability is very small but doesn't matter it gives a very high frequency performance where do you think we need high frequencies mobiles we are working on say uh, whatever 2g or 3g or what are 8 90 megahertz and above if you are working on bluetooth you are working on 2 to 4 gigahertz bands so if you are working on higher people are now looking for 60 gigahertz satellite phones okay. so we are really looking for very high frequency generations these are not the only generating system there are different other generators rf core should teach you what are those okay but right now we should say any lc oscillator is therefore used only for constant frequencies very sharp frequencies and much higher frequencies okay there are two very famous lc oscillators in literature they were first made if you are i don't know whether you recollect very first talk i showed you some diodes made out of vacuum tubes dd forest uh, vacuum diode huge 6 inch tube first oscillator was made using vacuum tubes okay so it's not that it's present but let's see uh which are these two colpit and colpits oscillator and hartley oscillator very famous oscillators and last 70 80 years these are popular the other oscillator which is the most important oscillator in every work where we are working right now is a crystal oscillator so is that why i am clubbing this with lc obviously i believe that the crystal equivalence is like a lc network this is my assumption which i can prove but not in this course okay so let's say typical bjt based oscillator and then i'll show you a equivalent of mos equivalent i'll just show you the circuit diagram what is colpit is saying okay you have a transistor how much phase it will give me 180 dd this is my load across this is the ac equivalent huh? please remember this r is essentially the load is that clear to you r is essentially the load then i put a tank circuit across this but i did mischief there i divided this net capacitance into two parts the center one i grounded 
and I put this C2. So, what is the purpose of this grounding in between and what is essentially it is trying to give you? What is this voltage across this is going where? Ye voltage hai jo output par hai. Ye kitna hai? Iska iska ratio ke saad yaha par aare ye kaha ja raha hai? Feedback ho raha hai. So, this C2 is essentially creating a feedback for you. Is that okay? This is the net output voltage divided by this is a divider, this is a ground potential C2 upon this plus this is essentially giving me the feedback factor. Okay. So, I am now looking into a transistor plus LC network with a load here with a divider to make this. I can do just the opposite of coal pit. What is opposite means? Jahan C hai, वहाँ मैं इंडक्टर रखूँगा, जहाँ इंडक्टर था वहाँ मैं कैपेसिटर रख दिया। सेम सर्किट रिप्लेस एल बाय सी, दिस सर्किट इस कॉल्ड हार्टले ऑसिलेटर। यू नो इट्स लाइक ए डिराइव्ड सिचुएशन। इस आदमी ने पहले बनाया, इस आदमी ने सोचा कि समझो उल्टा क्या तो क्या आता है? ये डिराइव्ड सिचुएशन। � तुमको एक प्रॉब्लम दे दिया तुमने करके दे दिया हमने छाप दे दिया दैट इज व्हाट ऑल रिसर्च इज अबाउट बट दैट्स व्हाट यू आर थिंकिंग इज ओके इफ दिस वर्क द अदर शुड कॉलोरी मस्ट वर्क फॉर इट करस्पोंडिंग सिस्टम मस्ट वर्क फॉर यू सो ये ड्यूअलिटी है दैट वी आर हैव यू हर्ड एनी टाइम दिस वर्ड ड्यूअलिटी इन योर फिजिक्स कोर्स सो होल नेचर इज इन ड्यूअलिटी राइट नाउ मैटर और वेव्स यू नो यहां भी वो प्रॉब्लम ड्यूअलिटी इज अ गेम इन द लाइफ ओके ओके एक डिराइव करके दिखा देते हैं उसी सर्किट को थोड़ा सा ऐसा करके रखा है डोंट फील वेरी सैड अबाउट कि वो वैसा नहीं दिख रहा है वही सर्किट है ऐसा क्यों लिखा क्योंकि सेड्रा सिर्फ में ऐसा फिगर था तो मैं बोला फिर आप फिर से ऐसा क्यों करो वो वही है वो इधर फीडबैक पर है ये रेशो है ये वी जीरो है देर इज नो डिफरेंस दिस टर्मिनल इज सेम एज दिस टर्मिनल तो यही वी जीरो है ये वी जीरो है ये वी जीरो है ये वी जीरो इसका इक्वलन किया। This is my VGS across C2, okay, or rather, okay, ये उल्टे लिखे गए हैं, ये C2 C1 है, तदन में। Then इसका इक्वलन बनाया, which is trivial, okay। आप इक्वलन सर्किट बनाने के बाद क्या कर सकते हैं? दो लूप्स की कहाँ लूप दिख रहे हैं आपको? या नोड वोल्टेज बी जीरो पर क्या दिख रहा है आपको एक ये है और एक ये है प्लीज लुक एट इट आई एम नाउ सीइंग करंट्स एट दिस नोड वी जीरो का क्या क्या करंट है वी जीरो बाय आर एक ये करंट है एक जी एन वी जी एस करंट है सेम डायरेक्शन ओके वी जीरो अपॉन वन अपॉन एस सी वन इज अनादर थर्ड करंट और फोर्थ करंट किधर है जो इंडक्टर के तरफ से जा रहा है, is that clear? ये आपका VGS है। If you say this, then it is V0 upon LS plus one upon SC2 is the fourth current. All currents should sum up to zero by Kirchhoff law. So this is equation one. If I want to calculate VGS, कितना होगा? This upon LS plus one upon LC. इसका जो total है थोड़ा सा वैल्यूज अब ये C1 C2 मेरे गलत हो गए हैं आप जरा देख लो आई थिंक आई मस्ट बी राइट दिस शुड बी C2 करेक्ट सो वन अपॉन S C2 अपॉन L S पर इनटू V0 इसको एक्सपैंड किया दो इक्वेशंस आ गए हैं इसमें V G S की वैल्यू यहाँ सब्सटिट्यूट करिए सॉल्व करिए इस डेट ओके सब्सटिट्यूट दिस V G S इन द I just collected the term GM plus SC2 plus 1 plus LC2 S square into 1 upon, yes? Yeah, of course you write down, I have no objection, but I just want to say you these are now quite trivial. They are quite trivial because we are just solving Kirchhoff law and nothing great. You can ask sir, why aap itna time waste karte hai? Because mere paas expression pahile rehta nahi hai. Isle I have to solve to get that expression. Okay, that's the way I am.
So, if you collect, of course, this is given in Sedra Smith's book, so it is nothing really great. I just check later ki kya kya dete ho. Now, if oscillation is to sustain or start, V0 kya hoga, 0 hoga kya? Yes, if V0 is 0, there are no oscillations. Is that output 0 hai na? No oscillation. So, if V0 has to be finite, then and if this equation has to be correct, then the term inside the bracket must be 0, okay. If I substitute again, substitute S is equal to J omega, real value plus imaginary value 0 hai, Barkhausen criteria kehta hai ki at omega 0 per real value should be 1 and imaginary value be equal to 0, okay. Tall kya, is term ko 0 kya. So, I got omega 0 square L C 2 upon R is equal to sorry 1 kar ya to G M plus R this or this will give me omega 0 isko solve kya sorry ye iski value abhi nahi nikal di. Haan ye real value adhi 1 hai to G M plus 1 upon R is omega 0 square L C 2 by R or to say omega 0 square ye important hai abhi omega 0 ki value aani hai we will substitute here this is equal to 1, okay, real value should be equal to 1, this is my real value, okay, so it is ko 1 kia hai, to ye expression a gaya mein pas, okay. Wo, how to get frequency omega 0? By equating imaginary quantity to, I just made this 0 and this 1 for Barkhausen criteria at omega 0, okay. At oscillating frequency, the magnet real part should be 1 and imagine a part B 0, okay, sustain oscillation karna. So, isko 1 kiya to ye term a gai, imaginary ko 0 kiya to omega 0 mil gaya mil ko 1 upon root L C 1 C 2 upon C 1 plus C 2, is omega 0 ko wo last function mein substitute kiya, so I got a ratio of C 2 by C 1 is equal to GMR. As long as your GMR has a value of C2 by C1, okay, slightly greater than C2 by C1, that oscillator, cold pit oscillator will oscillate at 1 upon root L C1 C2 upon C1 plus C2. Okay. R kya hai? Load. GM kahan se aane wala hai? Bias se. Jo bias current lagayenge, usse GM milega. C2 by C1 you are going to adjust, you are going to get a frequency from here a value of C2 by C1, assume one capacitor and get the second one, substitute here and you will get frequency of oscillation. Vice versa kya hai? Given a operating frequency, get the ratio of C1, C2 from here, come back substitute here and say okay, what should be GM? to sustain this frequency. Is that clear? This is design. Why it is called design? Because I am not interested in GM value or R value. I am interested should oscillate at 100 megahertz or 800 megahertz. That is what I will say. So, what do I give? I go this expression, evaluate C1 by C2, come here and find what GMR I should use to have a oscillations. GM I will adjust by bias. Is that okay? Is the design clear to you? I am always telling you what is the design. Design is just the opposite in that sense. Output will be told to you, this is what I want. Come back and find what should lead to this, okay. This is how we do in designs, okay. So, aapko yahan se ye diya hoga to iska, acha usme bhi fir hai, inductance will have to assume or I will be giving you. Typically, inductances for higher frequency should be less than 1 nano Henry, less than a typical value, but why it should be less than 1 nano Henry? Can you think of it? Aap edhi gigahertz mein jana chahte hain, to edhi nano se kam nahi rakhenge, or C bhi pico mein rahega, tabhi aap nano or giga mein ja sakte. Giga is 10 power 9, square means 10 power 18 value lani aapko, square term mein, karne ke liye. To edhi inke dono ka product 9 9 nahi hoga, minus 9 minus 9 se niche nahi hoga, to ye 18 nahi la paenge aap na, square mein. So, this is why we should be less than a nano Henry. 
typically 0 0.0, 0.8 or 0.6 nanometer these are used even lower can be used for higher frequencies. is that correct so length typically inductances are decided in chip by the wire which wire the bonding wire will the chip ka silicon se jo niche pin aati hai usme ek andar ek wire bond karte hai wire wo wire ka inductance less than nanometer hai wo use kar le we don't even put an inductance okay this is what the game is all about तो तुमको थोड़ा डिजाइन इश्यू बता दिया क्या करते हैं हार्टले करना है तो क्या आना चाहिए क्या होना चाहिए थोड़ा सा वैसा ही फिर से सर, सर्किट सॉल्व करिए और हार्टले ऑसिलेटर की कंडीशन आएगी वन अपॉन एल वन प्लस एल टू सी अंडर रूट ऑफ दैट विल बी द हार्टले फ्रीक्वेंसी इज दैट पॉइंट क्लियर टू यू कोलपीट और हार्टले में कोई फर्क नहीं है उसमें रेशोज सी के हैं इसमें रेशोज इंडक्टेंस के हैं थोड़ा सा फंक्शन सिंप्लीफाई हो जाएगा इंडक्टेंस में क्यों क्योंकि वो वन अपॉन जियो मेगा ऊपर ही रहता है इसमें वन अपॉन सी एस नीचे आने से हमेशा वो दो दो टर्म लेके आते हैं ओके okay. इसमें थोड़ा सा रिलेटिवली इजियर एक्सप्रेशन आते हैं ओके सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी सेड दैट टू पॉपुलर एल सी ऑसिलेटर्स आर डिस्कस वन यूजिंग हार्टले टेक्निक वन यूजिंग कॉल्फिट्स मेथड द अदर इज यूजिंग दिस इसके पहले कौन से ऑसिलेटर यूज किए फेस शिफ्ट ऑसिलेटर विच आर एसेंशियली आर सी ओसिलेटर ओके अब एक नया ऑसिलेटर जो आप वी ऑल यूज एंड आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ यू हैव यूज द लास्ट ऑसिलेटर विच वी यूज वेरी ऑफन फ्रॉम दिस काइंड एल सी ओसिलेटर इज कॉल क्रिस्टल ऑसिलेटर नॉर्मली क्रिस्टल्स विच वी यूज आर क्वार क्रिस्टल्स आपको समझो बोला थर्टी थ्री किलोहर्स का क्रिस्टल चाहिए या थ्री मेगाट्स का थ्री पॉइंट वन मेगाट का क्रिस्टल चाहिए तो क्या क्या देख के बता सकते हैं कि ये थ्री पॉइंट वन मेगाट का है और ये थर्टी थ्री किलो हर्ट्स का है क्या दे क्रिस्टल तो ऐसा पीस मिलता है आपको हाँ सील रहता है उसके लीड्स निक, दो लीड्स निकले रहते हैं क्या भैया क्या आप बता सकते हैं कि ये लोअर फ्रिक्वेंसी का है और ये हायर फ्रिक्वेंसी नीचे लिखा है मैंने थोड़ा पढ़ो The frequency depend on the mass of the crystal or the size of the crystal. Larger mass होगा तो क्या होगा Higher frequency होगी कम कम frequency होगी. So जितना बड़ा quartz crystal खरीदेंगे उतनी lower frequency का रहता है. जितना छोटा quartz crystal खरीदेंगे उतना वो higher frequency के लिए रहता है. What is the property of crystal? It it follows a electromechanical resonance. उसका दूसरा नाम क्या है? Piezo effect. से पीजो इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट इफ यू अप्लाई इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड टू सच मटेरियल्स देन इट प्रोवाइड्स मैकेनिकल वाइब्रेशन और वाइस वर्सा ओके दिस इज ऑल्सो डूएबल पीजो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज द वर्ड विच वी यूज देयर तो वट वी डू इज दैट वी पिकअप ए क्वार सिस्टल विथ सोल्डर कॉन्टैक्ट ऑन दैट ओके एंड एडवांटेज ऑफ दिस क्रिस्टल ऑसिलेटर्स इज इट इज टेम्परेचर इंडिपेंडेंट टू ग्रेट एक्सटेंट इट्स नॉट करेक्ट ऑल दो हजार डिग्री पे वो भी ये हो जाएगा चौदह सौ पचास डिग्री पे क्वार्स मेल्ट हो जाता है आठ सौ डिग्री से ही एक्चुअली फ्लो शुरू हो जाता है इसको बोलते हैं ग्लास फ्लो और यासीन है ना ग्लास ब्लोइंग करते हैं ना फ्लेम के ऊपर तो चौदह सौ तक तो पूरा मेल्ट हो जाएगा तो ऐसा मतलब ये मत सोचो कि किसी भी टाइम पर बट नॉर्मल ऑपरेटिंग रेंज इज वन डिग्री टू माइनस डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड अलास्का से लेकर राजस्थान के डेजर्ट तक वो चलना चाहिए so this is temperature independent time stable means kya aaj ek frequency kal thode din baad dusri frequency nahi aani chahiye so it is time stable okay. so that's why it is used extensively but what is the difficulty with this it is non tunable in time it's a fixed frequency oscillator iska jo bhi natural frequency hai wahi oscillate karega hmm? now funny part the crystal which i crystal oscillator which i am going to show you now Does not really work the way we thought. Okay, crystal, crystal oscillator is like a tank circuit. Okay, the only difference between this circuit and the equivalence is something different. It has an inductance. It has a series capacitance C H. It has a small series resistance R, and it has a parallel capacitance. एल सी एस सी पी दिस इज इक्वल सर्किट ऑफ ए क्रिस्टल ओके आई कम बैक टू इट बट जस्ट टू शो यू 
सो दिस इज द रेजिस्टेंस सो क्यू कब ज्यादा होगा जब आर जो है जीरो के तरफ टिपिकली क्रिस्टल्स के क्यू जो है में है वैल्यू है मैं एनीवे आई एम शोइंग यू दैट वैल्यू टिपिकल क्यू जो है टेन टू पावर फोर से ज्यादा रहता है एक्चुअली व्हाट डज दैट मीन आर इज प्रैक्टिकली जीरो ओमेगा एल बाय आर इज टेन टू पावर फोर विच मीन्स आर इज वेरी वेरी स्मॉल और निग्लिजिबल सो टैंक सर्किट का क्रिस्टल uh, ऑसिलेटर में जो इक्वल सर्किट यूज होता है वो ये होता है एल एस सी एस एल एस नहीं कहते क्योंकि वो सीरीज में एल सी एस शंटेड बाय सी पी इज द इक्वल सर्किट ऑफ ए क्रिस्टल आर इज प्रेजेंट बट एज आई से नॉर्मली क्यूज ऑफ ऑल क्वार्ड क्रिस्टल्स आर मोर देन टेन टू पॉइंट फोर सो आर इज निगलेक्टेड इन ऑल एनालिसिस प्रॉब्लम क्या है आर रखोगे तो सर्किट लेंथ बढ़ जाएगी एक्यूरेसी कुछ बढ़ती नहीं ओके सो इफ आई से फॉर बिफोर आई कम The frequency depends on size. Most important quality of this quartz crystal is it has a very large Q, and Q is greater than 10 to power 4 or above. Okay, okay. So equivalent circuit of a crystal. Ah, me, who I just said, bola. Wo sab. Acha, ye values likh lo. Uh, typical R is less than millions. We just get it. The inductance of a quartz crystal equivalence is around 100 henrys. The series capacitance is around 0.5 femtofarads, femtofarads, and uh, the parallel capacitance is of the order of few picofarads. Is that okay? L C S R parallel C P is the equivalent circuit of a crystal. So R ko to maine zero kar diya. ये इसकी टिपिकल वैल्यू है और दिस इज द सिंबल दिस इज द सिंबल ऑफ ए क्रिस्टल कैन यू थिंक व्हाट इज द सीपी वैल्यू इज कमिंग फ्रॉम ये फिगर से कुछ लगता है क्या तुमको क्या होगा सीपी वैल्यू पैरेलल प्लेट कैपेसिटर का जो कैपेसिटेंस है वो उसका सीपी है इज दैट करेक्ट तो बाहर के टर्मिनल पे जो भी दिख रहा है वो उसका सीपी है वॉट इज सी एस कुड बी This is because of the what is called dipole moment of the ionized, ionized material kept there, which is in inductive series to that. So that is C S, which is typically less than femtofarads. Okay. If iska any mene Z S nikala reactance Y nikala samjho iska, and if I plot it versus frequency, okay. Z S na ya Y hai iska omega ke term me plot kia. So I figure out that at omega equal to omega s, which I call series frequency of this, okay, omega s. Iske niche frequency par ye capacitive behavior karta hai. Why it becomes capacitive in lower frequencies? One upon j minus sign aaya, isliye upar gaya to plus sign aaya. Or iske aage asymptotically omega p tak wo higher value leta hai. Inductance is that okay to you? And if the omega p के इधर देखा तो C p इसको dominate करता है और उसका ये capacity बनता है. ये C s L s का combination है और ये C p का है. Omega s is the series frequency, resonant frequency. Omega is parallel resonant frequencies. Series and parallel resonant frequencies are called omega s. Omega p. Please remember, tank circuit, even series LC circuit is also a tank circuit, and it has own one upon LC as its frequency. Is that correct? It's called series frequency. Parallel करेंगे तो भी one upon root LC जो आ रहा है, वो भी parallel combination पर है. उसको उसका parallel reason. The reason why it is different will be obvious when I show you that. Okay. Now. As I say, CP is very large compared to CS. What does that essentially means? If CPs are much, that means omega s. If the terms is की निकाली, तो omega s and omega p ये बिल्कुल ही एक दूसरे के पास रहते हैं. If they are very close to each other, what does that mean? That means anything less than this frequency. The crystal will act like what? 
capacitor. Anything slightly larger than omega s but limited by omega p, what will it act like? Inductor. So, crystal oscillator wale log keh rahe hain ki aapne jo culprit oscillator banaya tha, mein kya banaya tha aapne? Do capacitor aur ek inductor dala tha. तो इस इंडक्टर के जगह आप एक क्रिस्टल लगा दीजिए एंड अप टू व्हाट फ्रीक्वेंसी एट व्हाट फ्रीक्वेंसी इट विल ऑलवेज गिव यू इंडक्टिव बिटवीन ओमेगा एस एंड ओमेगा पी दैट्स व्हाई इट्स कॉल्ड ट्यून्ड इस नैरो बैंड में ही वो सिर्फ इंडक्टेंस बिहेवियर देगा और वो ऑसिलेट कर देगा कोलपिट की मदद से इसका जो इक्वल इंडक्टेंस है इसके जो फॉर्मूला मैंने कॉलपिट का दिया है ना वो वही है इसमें इंडक्टेंस की वैल्यू विल कम फ्रॉम दी क्रिस्टल क्रिस्टल इज दैट ओके सो दिस इज हाउ क्रिस्टल ओसिलेटर्स आर एक्चुअली यूज्ड क्रिस्टल ओसिलेटर्स डू नॉट क्लियरली गिव इट्स ओन ओसिलेशन पर से डायरेक्टली दे फिट इनटू ए कोलपिट कॉम्बिनेशन एंड यू रिप्लेस योर इंडक्टेंस बाय ए क्रिस्टल ओके एंड द वोल्टेज हियर शुड बी सच दैट एंड द फ्रीक्वेंसी एट वी आर ऑपरेटिंग शुड बी सच This behaves like an inductor. That those frequency, this Colpit oscillator will oscillate between omega s and omega p. And if C1 is much larger, whatever the value I give, larger or smaller. If Cp is much larger than Cs, then omega s and omega p are very close to each other, and which means at that frequency, this will oscillate permanently. So, a crystal. Okay, its advantage is what? नैरो बैंड दैट मीन शार्प है इट इज स्टेबल बिकॉज क्रिस्टल एंड इट इज टेम्परेचर इनडिपेंडेंट इज दैट जो भी टेम्परेचर इंस्टेबिलिटी यहां से आने वाली वो किससे कम हो रही है वाई इट विल बी मच लेस ये कौन सा फीडबैक जा रहा है फीडबैक आया ना उसको स्टेबिलाईज कर देगा वो ओके okay. इसके कारण हिलने नहीं देगा ये इसको स्टेबलाइज कर देगा तो दिस सिस्टम इज परफेक्टली यूजेबल इन एनी सिस्टम वेयर यू आर लुकिंग फॉर ओसिलेशन ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी इन इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ टाइम एंड टेम्परेचर दिस इज कॉल्ड क्रिस्टल देर आर सम अदर वर्जन ओपेम के साथ बुक्स में देखो okay. मैंने आपको बेसिक बताया कि हाउ डू आई यूज ए क्रिस्टल इन एनी ओसिलेटिंग सिस्टम Omega p is because of ln and cp. It has an equivalent. Of that. See the piezoelectric effect. If I apply voltage, the natural frequency is equivalent of putting this tank circuit. It's a piezoelectricity theory which I, I am not solving for you. Okay. You assume right now equivalent circuit is this. Okay. Omega s cannot be lambda because cd. If yes, cs बहुत छोटा होगा तो हमेशा ये इधर ही रहे lc. Equivalent circuit. Idea is write ZS and find that. Okay. Is that okay? Which I haven't done it, but I just showed you what to do. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah. थोड़ा सा गलत हो गया है. ये जो है <laughs> कहाँ होना चाहिए कोलपिट में? ये यहाँ हो. View and drain. हाँ, ये भी view ही है ना? Sorry, sorry, sorry. ये भी view है. Okay. Essentially, I, I sorry, but essentially what I was saying that you just use a crystal in place of inductance. Rest culprit remains similar. Okay. So, एक आदमी मुझे कह रहे थे कि सब sinusoidal है, sinusoidal है. तो चलो एक और आपको पहला दिखाते हैं non sinusoidal. Okay. बाकी उसके बाद थोड़े दिन next time बताएंगे. Here is a circuit which is used for ring oscillator. What is ring means? it's a ring these are standard inverters okay ek do teen aur maine likha hai odd number now ek thodi si theory karke dekhen ye draw kar lo aap ye sorry non inverting inverter nahi hai sorry they are all inverting inverters the word i have used have you heard of this word non inverting inverters first the idea is simple i have an inverter 
let us say the capacitance here and a load capacitance here this was storing 0. So, this will store 1 ok, but next time ye 1 is ko charge karega to ye fir ye 0 ye 1 hota re depending on the delay it will keep changing. So, at any given time I do not know whether output is 1 or 0, phase kitna hai 180 is me say. So, this cannot oscillate it cannot sustain a frequency. So, when I go acha ye vaad hai kya do inverter laga hai ek ka 180 usre ka 180. 0, 1, 0 in phase return ho gaya. So, ye to oscillate karna chahiye tha. Nahi karta. Kyo nahi karta? Phir se batai. 0, 180, 180, 180, 360 in phase. Aagya aap criteria solve ho gaya. So, aap dekho is mein kahin to bhi bar ka udhan criteria solve nahi ho gaya, meet nahi ho gaya. Ye jahan bhi meet kar raha hai, mein aapko iski theory nahi batao ga, aap socho nahi to next. Of operation, the omega zero where it can become unity is only zero. What does zero means? DC. So this will oscillate for DC. Yes. If one yaha five volt hai, to yaha zero volt hai, to yaha five volt hai, yaha karta hai DC value fix rahe. Hmm? So it is a DC oscillator which is not oscillator. Isko kya bolte hai actually a circuit ko? Ab iska circuit ka dusra figure bata tha. क्या है लैच ये लैच है तो फिक्स कर देता है लैच कर देता है वो ओके सो इट्स स्टिल एन ऑसिलेटर फॉर अ डीसी बट डीसी ऑसिलेटर इज नॉट कॉल्ड अ ऑसिलेटर सो एसेंशियली टू इन्वर्टर्स दो इट गिव्स फेज वैल्यू करेक्टली इट डस इट डस सैटिस्फाई बारकाउजन को ओनली एट जीरो फ्रीक्वेंसी देयरफॉर इट डजंट रियली ऑसिलेट इसलिए क्या जरूरी हो गया अभी कि दो से तो ज्यादा इन्वर्टर लगाने पड़े is that clear to you? Why more than two? Otherwise, it will never oscillate. ये तो 360 मिला आपको. Phase तो adjust कर दिया मैंने. पर magnitude one नहीं करेगा इस frequency. जहाँ वो one कर रहा है transfer function, वो सिर्फ zero degree, zero frequency भी कर match हो रहा है. आप करके देखो ना. ये इसलिए मैं बोला मैं बता नहीं रहा. आपको बता दिया कि इसका equivalence ये है bistable element है. यही मैं आपको बताने जा रहा हूँ कि थोड़ा कैसे सोचते हैं लोग मैंने आपको थोड़ा हिंट दी very relevant why two inverters do not actually oscillate okay okay so यदि odd inverters लगाए और हर एक में एक capacitor भी लगाया तीन लगाए समझो तो this is इसके अंदर एक resistors होंगे equivalently on resistor off resistors जो होंगे तो ये जो RC network है ये 180, 180, 180 याने actually 180 हुआ plus network से 180 लाया तो total phase 360 पे आएगा और यदि ये समझो पांच हैं समझ लीजिए एक और बीच में डाल दिया तो any odd number will actually give you 180 and network will give you another 180 like a phase shift so it will start giving you square wave generation पर यदि आपने एक lab में experiment कभी digital में किया होगा तो हम एक्चुअली क्वाड एरे लेते हैं चार इन्वर्टर का एरे लेते हैं और उससे रिंग ऑसिलेटर बनाते हैं क्यों बनाते हैं थोड़ा सा आपको अलग-अलग हिंट्स दे देते हैं ऑसिलेटर तो यही है हां पर यहां एक ये क्या काम करता है ये जो v0 यहां है इसको क्या करता है ये बफर कर रहा है क्यों करना चाहिए बफर व्हेन यू स्टार्ट मॉनिटरिंग Oscillations here, क्या लगाएंगे आप स्कोप पे देखने के लिए, क्या लगाएंगे यहाँ पर, वो कपास, वो प्रोब लगाएंगे वहाँ पर, उसका कपासिटेंस इतना ज़्यादा है कि ये जो आपके नेटवर्क में सी डाल रहे थे, वो सेम नहीं रहेगा, तो वो ऑसिलेट नहीं कर पाएगा। आप जैसे ही प्रोब को वहाँ पर लगाएंगे, the last capacitor will change, the phase will not remain one it. Is that clear to you? So the buffer essentially takes you out of that probe business. Is that correct? तो इन रियल लाइफ में एक चौथा इन्वर्टर लगता है जिसके आउटपुट पे हमने एक्चुअली इन्वर्टेड आउटपुट देखा है। इस डेट क्लियर टू यू? ओके, सो लेट्स सो वी वांट टू सी सम काइंड ऑफ ए स्क्वेयर वेव जनरेशन और इवन ट्रायंगल और एनी सॉर्ट टूथ कैसे बनाएंगे? 
तो इसके लिए एक सर्किट है बस ला इंट्रोड्यूस करता हूँ मैं और फिर नेक्स्ट टाइम आता हूँ एक और सर्किट हमें यूज करना पड़ेगा वो सब करने के लिए उसका नाम है कंपैरेटर उसका नाम है कंपैरेटर यस जितने कैपेसिटर आरसी टोटल मिलके 180 डिग्री क्रिएट करना चाहिए और इन्वर्टर्स का फेज 180 आएगा 360 प्लस 360 या 720 प्लस एक 180 आएगा नेटवर्क से 180 आना चाहिए तो फेज रिटर्न होते समय 360 सिक्सटी रिटर्न टर का जो प्रिंसिपल है वो यूज किया इज दैट करेक्ट इन फेज कंपोनेंट वापस रिटर्न होना चाहिए इज दैट करेक्ट ऑल लगा नहीं नहीं वो तो सॉल्व करना ही पड़ेगा ना ट्रांसफर फंक्शन वैल्यू इमेजिनरी जीरो और रियल वैल्यू वन करके कर हम करके नहीं दिखाए हमने आपको बताया कि और से ही हो सकेगा अदरवाइज नहीं ओके यू आर राइट एक ओपन है उसको यदि ओपन डिफाइम जैसा यूज किया नो फीडबैक यू आर टू इनपुट्स वी वन एंड वी टू यू आर पावर सप्लाईज ऑफ वी डी डी एंड वी एस एस एक्स फाइव एंड माइनस फाइव टू पॉइंट फाइव माइनस टू वॉट एवर वैल्यूज यू पुट एंड यू हैव ए वी जीरो ये सादा डिफाइम का आउटपुट है इसका क्या होगा वी जीरो ए टाइम्स डिफरेंस ऑफ दिस बट इसका गेन क्या होता है माइनस ए टाइम्स वी वन माइनस वी टू को क्या बोलते हैं हम लोग डिफरेंस वोल्टेज तो ए टाइम्स पी डी विद माइनस साइन इज द वी जीरो इज दैट क्लियर वी डी इज द डिफरेंस सिग्नल वी वन माइनस वी टू ए टाइम दिस इज डिफरेंस का थ्योरी है डिफरेंस गेन के टाइम सिग्नल एम्पलीफाई होता है इफ आई प्लॉट दिस सेम थिंग On a sheet, uh, on a graph, v zero versus differential. I see some small less value of, say, this is v one minus v two. At zero, uh, if there is no offset, output is zero. Okay. If v one minus v two is positive, or rather, it should be opposite sign because it's a minus sign. ठीक है इसको minus ले लेते हैं. It should rather than as simple as that. If it is minus, the output will go high, and if it is plus, output will go minus VSS. इस values को मैंने नाम दिया है VH and VL. What is the gain function? dV zero by dV in is the gain of any amplifier, which is in this case VH minus VL by point this the x value delta delta equal है वो दोनों. So if I substitute this 5 volt, 5 volt, and let us say the gain is 10 to the power 5 for open loop gain for this op-amp I use or diffam. Then 2 delta is 0.1 millivolt. Is that clear? 0.1 millivolt. Or gain बढ़ाएंगे तो और भी 100 microvolt से भी नीचे आ सकता है. Okay. तो यदि मैं समझ लिया कि gain बहुत ज़्यादा है, so this characteristics can then loop delta will become close to zero. If this value is very very high, then tends to infinity. Let's say delta will tends to zero. So what will ideal op-amp ka gain is the infinite mana. So transfer kaisa hoga at v v2 minus v1. Okay. Vd positive hai. So ye Vd positive hai to minus Vss pe chala gaya. Vd negative hai. तो प्लस वीडी पे चला गया इज दैट करेक्ट ये क्या दिख रहा है आपको ये कैसा कैरेक्टर से दिख रहा है इसको मैकेनिकली या इलेक्ट्रिकली हम क्या बोलते हैं डिजिटल में स्विच सो ए कंपैरेटर विथ ए हाई गेन क्रिएट्स लाइक ए स्विच स्क्वायर वेव क्या होती है ऑन ऑफ ही है ना ऑन ऑफ ओके तो नाउ यू कैन थिंक दैट इफ आई हैव ए कंपेरेटर आई शुड बी एबल टू क्रिएट On of situations, which means square wave. Is that point clear? Next time, if I am here, then I can create a square wave from the comparator. So, a comparator, other than comparison itself, is one another advantage it has. It will also give me equivalent of a on-off switch. Okay, 
and that I can utilize to create square. Triangle करना है तो क्या करना चाहिए? Square का triangle कैसे करते हैं? ऊपर गया ऐसा करना इंटीग्रेट करो बस एक इंटीग्रेटर लगा दो तो स्क्वायर का इंटीग्रेट होके ट्रायंगल हो जाएगा ठीक है उसके वोल्टेज कम ज्यादा करना है क्या करना चाहिए एक लिमिटर डायोड क्लैंपिंग करो जिस वोल्ट पे चाहिए वहां रोक लो उसको है ना सब कुछ जो अभी तक पढ़ा है वो लगाया जा सकता है इज दैट करेक्ट दिस इज एसेंशियली व्हाट द नॉन सिनोसाइडल ओसिलेटर्स डू यूजिंग कंपैरेटर्स बट प्योर कंपैरेटर हम यूज नहीं करेंगे the kind of comparator i am going to use is called schmidt trigger so next time we start with schmidt trigger